Welcome back to FS22 and the Survival Challenge. And we are on episode 11 and we are up at the store. I want to repair the log fault because the way FS22 does repairs really bugs me. And, you know, it's still showing that stuff is damaged. Don't like that. Picking up the windrower and we're going to make a purchase of a Unimog. This was released recently. Um, it's a fairly clean mod. The log's fairly clean. And I love a Unimog. I used one of these on FS19 a bit. It's a really cool vehicle. Um, obviously, you can have a front and rear three point, which makes it really useful. Uh, it's pretty quick for getting around the map. And uh, yeah, it's just a pretty useful workhorse. It should be better at towing all the trailers we've got because it's not got the really low hitch that the tractor has. Um, and it's only 26 and a half grand so yeah we're going to get ourselves that and we are going to send that back over to the farm using one of the uh, shops workers uh, we'll just run that back down and uh, we'll drive the tractor back so there are a bunch of fertilizing contracts around the map and you know this is where the unimog really comes into its strength it's got a three point it's got ptos and it's quick so you know it doesn't matter that the contract is on the map we can just drive up there so we do need to get a bit more fertilizer and i think we need a front weight if i'm honest it's a bit twitchy with the weight of the fertilizer spreader on the back um, so we'll get that sorted we'll get a few more bags of fertilizer um, it would be useful if the store had something other than a forklift um, because as you're about to see the forklift doesn't reach high enough to lift things onto the back of the unimog so it's got that platform that we can strap on so yeah it would be really useful if they had a telehandler or something maybe maybe they can upgrade in the future uh, but we'll leave those bags there for now we'll get ourselves a front weight which is not massively expensive we could have probably gone heavier and we'll get stuck into some contracts and um, i didn't crash into that 2cv no i don't like crashing i'm just very good at it uh, so first field this is pretty small won't take us very long given the working width on the unimog and the spreader uh, so today we are going to be looking at putting a shed in on the farm and creating our first field which is going to be quite cool uh, so i'm picking up these logging trailers uh, so they were only four grand each and i you know the unimog is pretty quick so i figured maybe these would be a good way of getting lots of lumber up to the uh actually the biomass eating plant so we've got a few trees to clear out before we can put our workshop in and uh get our field created and unfortunately they're the horrible oak trees and trees that just need a lot of work but we've got our new trailers to load up so we'll uh, we'll give them a try combined with the unimog hopefully we'll uh, we'll be in for a good time I have made a small edit to the Juni mock. I found it was a bit light. Um, so I went into the XML and made it a thousand kilos heavier. Um, I found it was like jumping a lot as I went over things and I don't think that's very realistic. So yeah, we've added a bit more weight to it. Um, there is a weight block you can get to put on the bed, which might help as well. Um, but yeah. And you get these trees loaded up and then there's going to be a shed going in the corner in here and uh, then a field next to it and that field is probably going to have barley in it for our chickens i'm still planning to buy the bigger chicken coop as i expand the farm we need to get some cash in for that but those 30 chickens are just not cutting it and the bigger chicken coop is about the same size so although it costs a bit more we may as well get that and we have some weird collisions going on here uh, so chainsawing up some of the smaller pieces to hopefully sort that yeah farm team and tree physics it's a thing anyway loaded up not too much on here and uh, we'll get this sold and see how we do so five grand for the first load and uh, i missed what it was for the second one we have one more tree that we had to clear which i got stuck and I found with the uh, with the normal trees you can get quite a lot on here but with these ones not so much so uh, we'll get these sold another five grand and uh, let's put our shed in thirty five thousand pounds i'll try and remember to put a link down below for this and um, we need to do a bit of terrain editing first because uh, i want it to be at this level so we're going to cut into the bank a bit uh, which is going to cost us a bit of money but it'll be nice to get our first shed on the farm i'm not the best at doing this uh, but yeah, I think that'll fit quite well there. Quite like that. Um, it's not too severe with the uh, cut into the embankment and we'll just see if we can smooth things down a little bit. 
uh, but it's really nice to get our first proper shed on the farm. I know it's not really a European style, it's an American style shed, but we, uh, we have limits on what's available at the moment and what I can afford. Bit annoying there that we've actually we've put it too close to the greenhouses, especially now we uh, can't pick the pallets up by hand. So we're gonna have to try and get the front loader forks on the tractor in there to uh, pick those out. We'll manage it, we will manage it. Uh, and now we can start to tidy work it up. Uh, we, we'd very quickly outgrown the little shed that was available already in the yard. Um, I'm not reversing the dolly trailers into anything. Thinking about putting another shed there as we expand a bit more. Uh, I would like to do a straight swap on the chicken coop, but that might mean we have to sell all the chickens we have at the moment and do that. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. It's a way off, I think. Uh, the mulcher can go into the workshop. Now we've got the lumberjack mod, I'm tempted to sell on that. I don't think we really need it. Uh, and it's probably worth a little bit. So yeah, I'm tempted to get rid of that. Cedar can go in the shed. Uh, and uh, we're going to pick up the pallet forks and see if we can get those two pallets of lettuces out. Obviously the first pallet is quite easy, but this one is a bit of a pain. Yeah, it's not the end of the world, they don't produce that much. So yeah, we should be okay. Not sure if I'm going to get more greenhouses. Um, I think there are better ways to make money, but we do have some, like the pallets of furniture we have. These all go to the same sell point, so I'm going to pick these up first. I don't remember if I said, but I uh, I edited the carpentry production um, so that it's three times more expensive to run, but runs three times quicker. Uh, I was just getting fed up of how long it was taking to get stuff processed in there. I felt it was very unrealistic that. It was, it was going to take a year or more to process the wood that it could take, which just seems wrong to me. So I have made a small edit to that. If you don't like it, tough. If you do like it and you want to know how, drop me a comment and I might do a video on it. So we've got three parts of that to sell off as well. So this should be a nice little income. And that will let us go and buy our plow, hopefully. So this all goes to the farm shop. Around the back, obviously. Uh, and that made us a fairly nice uh, yeah, 20 grand, I think it was, something like that. So uh, it went past fairly quickly for me. Uh, so just put the last of the chicken feed in and now we're gonna go get the plow. Uh, so we're gonna go for this uh, little three and a bit meter plow, 19 grand, quite expensive actually for a three meter plow, but it's a, it's a square plow, it's not an offset plow, so yeah. And we're going to stick our first field in here. The nice thing is this is going to get rid of some of those horrid bushes. I have another video recorded and we, we get a second field in and I, I have started to use the, uh, the landscaping tool to get rid of some of the bushes that are in the way as well. And just when not all of them are being ploughed out to make fields. This is going to be our first field, just sort of somewhere across here, about the same size as the sheep pen, uh, leaving a track so that we can get between the two. Uh, the plan roughly for the farm is I'm going to do fields up the back edge of the farm and then more farm type buildings along the front where the road is currently. Uh, that probably will change in the future, but that's my current plan. So now we've just got to get all this ploughed in and then uh, some fertiliser and some lime done and some seeding. I did realise after I'd done this and in fact after I'd done the second field as well that I still have rocks turned off from when I was doing contracts because there were so many rocks on the contract fields that it was getting stupid. Um, thanks to Scross Discord I know how you can get rid of the fields on the, red, the rocks on fields you don't own. I'm probably going to do a quick video on that because I thought it was quite a cool trick that uh, one of the guys on there pointed out. So, pretty much done with our first field. It's not huge. Um, not. Hopefully it's going to give us enough barley to uh, keep our expanded chicken coop fed. So we need to do a bit of fertilizer and a bit of lime at this point. And we have fertilizer already so I think I'd do that first some bits are fertilized from where we've been mowing the grass and then we're plowing grass some bits aren't so we'll try and even that out a bit and then head up to the store to pick up some lime now i know base game that won't spread lime taking the car trailer so we can lift them on the back with the forklift 
but I just again I made a quick edit so that it could spread lime in the real world it can spread lime uh, check if you check on the site of uh, Amazon the producers of that spreader it can be used to spread lime so I just added lime in as something you can spread and it's not going to take a huge amount so this will probably do a few fields for us which is quite cool I do love the spread width on that thing still couldn't quite cover the whole field with uh, one fill we just top up a bit and then, uh, what I end up doing is putting the rest in and then emptying it so it's in one pallet rather than many and then we'll go again with the fertilizer get the fertilizing up to max level and in fact it looks like it didn't bother doing that and instead we are cracking straight into planting some barley so I recorded this ages ago um, with the, and with the Christmas break I just haven't had a chance to uh, record the commentary which is why there wasn't an introduction either if you're newish to the channel and you haven't yet please subscribe I forgot to say that at the start I'm trying to do it at the start now when people are still watching so uh, if, if you're new to the channel and you're still watching please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications for my daily videos and yeah, we're just going to get this barley planted and then uh, that'll be our first field on the survival challenge. Someone did point out that we're now past surviving and maybe, but you know, we've still got a long way to go, I think. So we'll now hook up and we'll finish the fertilizing off. There's only a little bit of the field that needs more fertilizer, but it will be nice to get that done. And then we can just leave that field because we plowed it, we won't get weeds. So thanks for watching, folks. Uh, see you next time.